generation wise. So people our age tend to be a little more open and then you get grandparents. I have a, a very good friend of mine growing up, they would not let, you know, they wouldn't let their kids talk to black people. But she herself, you would never, you could never tell. She's friends with everyone, regardless of your race. So it just depends, depending on where you are. Like I had um, a friend of mine that I met in Texas in one of my classes, and um, she had invited me home. An example, she had invited me home with her for Thanksgiving holiday. And it turned out that her family, instead of going, having Thanksgiving at, at her parents' house, they were going to go to her grandparents' house. And she came to me and she said, I don't think you can come home with me for Thanksgiving anymore. My grandparents have never had a black person in their house. And so, and we were good friends. And she didn't have anything against me being black, but it became an issue because of the area her parents lived in, in Alabama, in an area where there's just not a lot of black people. And it was going to be a family weekend. And it became an issue in that sense. I'm like, with that situation with my friend, I didn't end up going and we're still good friends. Um, but I had to understand the background and the history of where her family and her family structure and where they are coming from. And she wasn't raised the way her grandparents were raised, but in terms of bringing something, someone to her grandparents' home, she wasn't allowed to do that. Depending on where they're in school is a different situation because you have diverse people. When you start to get into the real world and you're working and you sort of don't have this university umbrella to be under, it becomes a little challenging. Like I said, with the work that I did, um, you'd go into some areas and because of this, your skin color, people won't stop by and, and speak with you. But it's, it's, it's such a challenging question because it's not everyone, but it's some, but like it's, I don't know, it's, it's very hard. It's there though, that's what I mean. It's there. We're not trying to deny that it's not there. We're saying it's there. I just can't tell you who it is, you know, but it's there. I mean, I've had situations where you're introduced and you're black and you're from Africa. People have no idea where Zimbabwe is from and they assume you can't speak English, you don't know anything. <laughs> and so I've had situations like that and that's, that's people meeting you for the first time. And so um, right from that, the beginning of that introduction, uh, you have that barrier to overcome. Um, but generally, in that situation, once you start talking to people, they're like, oh, okay. And, uh, and the people are more open to learn and to, to understand where you're coming from. And what you get, this is not, I guess, I don't know if people need to t give a term to this. It's not racism. It's when you go somewhere and someone, I remember all the international students, now, there were people from France, people from, so we were all different colors. We went to this um, lady's house. She was white and from the south. And she sort of greets everyone and says, hi, how are you? Then she says, oh, we've got some finger food here. Then she stops and she says, finger food. And so, you know, sometimes people do something to like, like they sort of say you don't understand before you tell them you can understand. Yeah. You understand know what I mean? They explain to you things in such a, like an elementary fashion because when you're not from here, so you may not know what this is. So it's, it's sort of, people are fearful at times of things they don't understand. That's really racial profiling that you face, but it's, it's attitudes that come up in little things. Like uh, a good example was, I was watching the Olympics, we were in the TV lounge at the door at school, and um, Kirsty Coventry's race was up, and I went to school with Kirsty at the convent, and I was like, oh, can we change the channel, because I wanted to see the race, and I'm like, there's a girl from Zimbabwe who's swimming, and they show the lineup, and one of the girls is like, they're no black people. <laughs> and I'm like, we have white people in Zimbabwe. Because <laughs> he grew up in, you know, attitudes like that that you have to deal with um, in, in, in little things. And so um, you, you, you just have to be um, open and not get angry when people ask that. Like, that was a good friend of mine. I mean, we, we, um, there was nothing like that. As I said, most of these universities encourage diversity. So you have people from the Middle East, they'll have their own organization, so they encourage, most of these institutions encourage diversity. And they don't, and they try to, you know, oppose things that try to oppose the diversity.